kind of how, how Apex started and what this is, and I'll explain. I go outside one day, six, seven foot PVC pipe, swinging my bow again, just to kind of push myself and go out there and do something. And I met Jonathan. I'm going to go off on a little sidetrack, but um, so I apologize, Jonathan, again. Meeting in Okinawa the first time, you know, drinking Orion beer at the, the dojo bar. It's just amazing the relationships that you can build because of that. It just kind of started. Jonathan calls me one day and he's like, you know, hey, Sensei, I, um, I've got two young students who want to try for the junior national team. But, you know, I'm a Kumite athlete. This small group of us started to kind of get together several different styles in several different states. You know, maybe here's some tips and some pointers, a way of taking somebody from wherever they're at and trying to maximize their performance. And that kind of started the nucleus of what ended up being Apex Karate Performance. We have people in Virginia, we have people in Maryland, we have people in New York, we have an athlete in France, and we have an athlete in Osaka, and me in China. In karate, there's no such thing as mastery, right? Ways that we can move better, move faster, become more efficient, become more biomechanically correct. No foot stomping, no exaggerated faces, no gi slapping. Biomechanics, how to use the body. Release your knees. Self-awareness is key to karate. I'm aware of what I'm doing now, and I need to fix that. The awareness of yourself and what you're physically doing. We want to maximize your performance by doing good karate. I may not be, <laughs> the things I say may not, may not mesh well, with, but I have some, some def definitive rules, like what I don't want my athletes to do. Within the last year, I've seen athletes who I really respected just change kata. I'm like, well, what was that? Here, just break your kata. On one hand, I think it's amazing. People want to protect karate. A 25 or a 30 or a 40 year old person should not be doing a maigeri like a 75 or an 80 year old person. You could literally do kata in your bathroom, but that doesn't mean that your kata will get better, right? I mean, I, I mean, maybe you shouldn't do kata in your bathroom, 